Okay, I've got something a bit different today. I've got one of these, uh, they call them a digital door lock or a binary lock. Uh, so this one has four digits and the handle will go C for reset, F does nothing. Um, so I'll show you how to decode them first, or at least this kind. There are a number of kinds like this. Um, I found that this hand, obviously it'd be easy if it was mounted to something. You apply tension to the doorknob, or to the yeah, handle, uh, and then you push on each one. You can see just a bit of spring, spring, spring. Oh, it doesn't have any spring. So uh, we can let off tension, push zero, apply tension again. Should be set now. Spring, 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 no spring, no spring. One, no spring, no spring, open. So you go, pretty simple. You can do it while still holding on, like uh, you know, I can push it like that, but they get uh, really difficult to do that. Um, so it's best to just let the tension off once you've decided on a number and go. Um, interestingly, this model would also let me type the code in that way. But I don't know why you would want to open the handle that way, but you can. Um, so yeah, that's how you decode it. Just feel for the ones that have got no spring. Um, so this one also, theoretically, um, the C button must be held in when removing or replacing any of the tumblers. I haven't pulled this apart. You can see here the red paint, one, two, three, uh, zero, which does tell you the code by looking at the back, if you can get to the back. Um, I'm going to pull this apart so we can see how it works. I have not done this before. It could end up a disaster, but whatever. I've shown how to decode it and it only cost me uh, $11 from eBay. So if it does get completely destroyed, I won't be that sad. Uh, at least I'll make the good video content, you know? Hopefully not. I'm sure we can work it out. Oh, there's a bit of spring pressure on that. All right, that's obviously what holds everything in. Yeah, uh, well, okay, so here's our plate. Um, we try out the screws on, so don't lose them two, three, and four. So, spring plate. Okay, that's simple. Oh, they do come off. All right, well, we'll just there, stick that basically that way. Um, so that security seal, obviously being broken. Now, how do these come out? Um, yeah, you can see there that that's where the F button is. That clearly does nothing. But let's see. So let's hold in C, and then that just comes out. All right. So that's one that is a number. Uh, it looks like that. Focus. All right, whoop. Put that there. Pull out five. As a comparison, so it looks like that, which I would say is reasonably similar. Ah, is that the difference? Is what if I don't hold on to C? Does that matter? Yeah, then they lock in. All right, see out. So, five, four, three, seven, Nothing. All right, so let's see. Those are in fact all identical. And that one is different. So that, that is the blue one. All right, we've got our four combination ones. Four. All right, so as we can see here, if it has got the notch 
the hole at the bottom, it is a code. And if the hole is the other way, it is not a code. So when we, well, if we've got none of them in, the door can just open. See, so does nothing. Um, oh, that won't come off. I wonder if this comes more apart. It does. Oh, it's pretty there. Let's take it further apart. Wouldn't mind pulling these off and getting rid of the storage. Get in the way. I'm not exactly going to install it on the door, so quality control sticker. My warranty is void. Yeah, can't say I would be installing this thing on anything I actually wanted to cure. It only really took me about I don't know, a minute and a half to work out how to decode this thing um, without looking at the back. Let's see if you get a look at the back, it is trivial. And it's nice that they color them in for you. That's a good quality of life function. Alright, so this whole plate here is used from. Uh, let's stick it here. Got a knife. Just slice that. I want to uh, not tilt it. I don't know. No, it didn't come out. Oh, so that lifts off, and ew, that's a lot of grease. There's our reset button. So we can push up that way. So push in it, which I don't know what it does. Um, that's the spring that holds the whole thing in. Alright, we've got springs on each of the buttons. That seems to fit stuff. Alright, so that just sits in the bottom there. Ends up on something. Ah, okay. So, if we turn this oops, over, that's the spring for. That and the spring for that one. Give it a link. Uh, so that whole lot pushes on this plate. That's what's doing the code testing. So we can see as we slide that up. Um, see, there's that little thing that nudges in on each one. So that's how you set it. The combination. Uh, let's see if it's a blue one you have to not have it pushed in the red one needs to be pushed up when they're all in the right order uh, it will go theoretically if you just filled it full of only blue ones it would always go it only works because there's four that are need to go the other direction and then it'll operate so okay that's how it works um, this is covered in grease I'm gonna put this back together um, and go and wash my hands and get all this filth off but there we go that's how they work. Uh, hopefully that was clear enough. Um, I have done another AliExpress lock that was sort of a similar mechanism in the end, but this is a lot bigger and beefier. Uh, but that's basically, a lot of these things I believe are basically the same principle, uh, where you're just pushing the code, it's just an in or out state, and you should be able to find a binding pin easily enough. Um, I am wanting to find a proper lock wood, like a good brand of one as well to compare, but I suspect it's gonna be basically the same as this deal, so. There we go, that's this digital lock.